All right, again, folks, two-year anniversary. Thanks to you folks. All right, so we will talk a little bit about the channel having its two-year anniversary in the midst of the Buffalo Sabres three-game losing streak. <laughs> like, you know, it's... Um, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about this. I won't drag out this video too long, guys. Just want to thank you. While, uh, while we still have our health, even though we, our team feels like they're disappearing again, while well, we all have our health. And, uh, and uh, thanks for, I want to thank you for the memories. Thank you for the support of the channel. Thank you guys for the, uh, the fun times. There's been fun times on this channel, even throughout all the losing and all the struggling. You know, and now we've watched this team go from um, basically a non-existent franchise to existing again. And we do exist and the league is very aware of some of our superstars now. And, you know, we're the youngest team in hockey and um, we can't lose track of that in here because that's where we can forget that when we're watching a game like tonight and be cursing and swearing and just tripping out that things aren't going our way. But... You know, if you take away the wins and losses, of this team is fun to watch. So, you know, we're a few games over 500, which is good. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. This is good. I'll take any kind of winning record this year when it's all said and done. And we'll look at it and we'll discuss it. And we might look and say, okay, we came five wins, four wins from the playoffs, whatever it is. Or we got in with a miracle run late in the year. There's no way to know yet. We will have to see how... This all unfolds by the end of the year. I suspect the Sabres will finish strong because I believe in this bunch and teams that are like they like a team that has that, well, I wouldn't say killer instinct. I won't say killer instinct. A team that has that destiny of becoming a champion eventually always win late in the year. They always do. And this is why last year I started expecting to see some results late in the year with the team. And that is when I think this channel was starting to have a lot of fun because the boys were from that Vegas game on. They were fun to watch the rest of the year and they've been fun to watch this year. So they've been fun to watch since then. And, uh, you know, look, we're going to have our struggles, guys. We're going to have our struggles till I think management sits down and says, okay, we got to move this guy. We're going to move this guy. We got to move this guy. They're going to have to do that because if they think they can keep this bunch the way it is right now, and just continue to get better and better and better, it will never happen. Never. Never, never. No, you've got to constantly change the makeup of your team. Hockey's a total game of change. You know, you've always got to continue changing your personnel, tweaking it. I'm not talking like whitewashing the team, guys. But I'm talking about they got to tweak. You've got to make some tweaks here and there. And I just talked about um, uh, 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 Yoki Haru and and say middle stat, I mean, we've got to look at certain guys and we got to make decisions. You know, we've got young guys, first rounders that maybe haven't really lived up to what we hoped and we've got to make decisions. And uh, any team that hesitates in that, then that's where I'll start complaining about Adams. No, don't think just because the team is starting to turn corners that we, you know, we can just rely on that. No, no, you got to constantly tweak your team and try to get that right build to that Stanley Cup eventually. And uh, we got a lot of good pieces in this team, guys. It's a fun team to watch right now. It's a fun, a fun team to report about. I know it sucks right now. I can tell you having a channel and having to report a three game losing streak right now is the last thing I thought I'd be reporting before the Philadelphia game, really. And right now we have they have exposed to what I was worried about was they're not very good at home. That's something that's been worrying me. I know it now. Like I, I have no doubt in my mind now, this is an issue. This is an issue even in the dressing room. This is an issue. And uh, I don't care how big the crowds are, how small the crowds are, that has nothing to do with the home record right now. This is just something that's going on psychological, I believe with the kids whether it be feeling more pressure in front of the home fans to win. It could be, um, you know, and yes, we've had some great games on home ice this year. The blowout of Detroit comes to mind, the, the comebacks. Uh, yeah, there's been great gains, but they haven't found a way to win eight or nine in a row at home. They haven't found a way. Teams that make the playoffs do those things. They've got to find a way to get on a home streak. That I can't stress enough. 
But I'm, uh, again, I'll, I'll get back to the channel. I'm just caught up with tonight losing again, guys. It's, it sucks, you know. But I am, have I lost hope? No. No, I, I believe in this team. I want to see what they do in the next month. We'll see what they do. We'll, we'll see where they are by the end of February. We'll have a good idea what we, you know, what kind of year we're having by then. And, and, and I'll tell you what, if they're playing meaningful games, I think we'll all be happy. We'll be happy with that this year. So we'll see. So guys, you know what? Thanks again. The channel has, um, you guys have motivated me. I swear in the worst of times. I couldn't have picked a worse time than when I started this channel because we were the worst team in hockey, going through the worst lo losing streak in the modern era and in our entire history, basically when I got this channel up and running a few years back. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, fun times, memorable times. We've, um, we've seen the, the, the kids turn, turn around. We've watched them become right to the top in the league and scoring goals as we've seen this year. And the good news is, guys, the Bruins lost at home tonight, if you don't know yet. The Bruins lost at home, so they're showing they're human tonight. And um, that Seattle team shut them out in their home ice, 3-0. You know, so that Seattle team, I don't know, that's another story, I guess. I'm really, um, I'm really having fun with the channel, guys. I am. You know, there's been just, a, it's been a hard year outside of, like, in real life. There's been things going on. But you guys have made me coming behind this camera fun. It's been fun, it's something I look forward to, it's something I like to talk about is this team now because I, I believe in them, I believe in our future, and I believe we're headed to really green pastures eventually with this team, I really do. I wouldn't just say it, I would, I would be very honest and tell you guys, no, we gotta change this guy, this guy, this guy, with the be guys I'd be calling out to trade and everything on my channel, I would not hold back. You know, I did it with Jack, so, it's, it's the same thing. Like, there's a few guys in this team I'd move if I was a GM. That's just me. These guys might show me wrong by the end of the year. Who knows? But uh, look, guys, I want to thank you. God bless you. The channel is alive and well because of you folks. You guys are the ones that motivate me to do videos like this right now because I didn't want to make this video tonight. But you know what's a two-year anniversary? I want to at least not forget, you know? Like, where were we two years ago? You know, where was this channel? You know, like, so things have gotten better in both, I'd say. And uh, I look forward to where this channel could be when this team really gets going, you know? And they've teased us. They've showed us signs that this thing is turning around. We shall see in the next month and a half, I believe. We're gonna see what we really have here. So I'll leave it there, guys. God bless you. And folks, I always end it with this. Not so much you need me, it's how much I need you guys. See you in the next video tomorrow.